What's up guys, welcome back, we're here with another episode of our Rome 2 multiplayer campaign for the Rise of the Republic DLC with myself and Scrim. Hello. It has been a little while, but we are back with more episodes, it is a new year, a new us, we're going to get plenty more of these episodes out. <laughs> yes, definitely. Hopefully, um, the reason I've not posted anything is because none of it had audio, because that was great to edit, completely me talking to myself like an insane person, that's I am. <laughs> Well, um, well yeah. in the last episode, if you've seen uh, my let's play, uh, my version of the let's play, then um, we took <laughs> um, out the Volsky, and they basically are left with no settlements. They have a few fleets and a few armies. I think we have there's another one raiding in the north, um, and basically they're now nothing. They're worth nothing. We can now declare war on whoever we want once our armies have replenished. We've dealt with these secessionists. And the possibility of another civil war. We have two turns till another possible another civil war, and the two parties don't like us that much. So um, yeah, that's not great. Uh, Scrim. I mean, we can't see much of what's going on now, but I did take uh, one of his settlements, representing as the rebels. So he's in a little bit of trouble there. Nah, I'm fine. So anyway, I'm, I'm going, about to march. I am going to end the turn and hand it over to you because I just need the money to save up all the money now. I can get to a. Uh, bribe people not to rebel against me and in the meantime i am going to update you what i've been doing because obviously the last five episodes have literally been me talking to myself according to my editing software <laughs> so um this rebel army um probably the last episode it only just started in the city of agrian i believe um despite pope's former success i am actually marching very uh, swiftly on and i'm capturing a capital now which I'm just going to auto resolve because obviously there's just there's just no point. It's like three garrison men versus twenty stack, um, and obviously there's that big army down. Oh, I'll say big army. There's ten of them, twelve of them. Um, take them next turn. Uh, that should be the end of the rebels, apart from this one fleet which has got silver chevrons, which is quite irritating. But they can't. I don't think they could do much. So we should be fine there. Uh, this fleet is going up to find Pope to do some trading and just any other factions for that matter. So I'm going to carry carry on sending you. In fact, I'm going to send you over the coast so we can meet more people as well. And yeah, that's that's what we're doing there. So building time. Building time. Contain. I've got that back and I've boosted my income through that. I've made lots of friends apart from the two I'm at war with. So that's good. Well, Literally, I, I, I need to friendly make with everybody. I need to make friends. Really? Friendly, 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 very friendly, and then hostile and hostile from my rebels in Carthage. Carthage, I still plan to take. I believe I have another army. No, okay, I don't. Um, yeah. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna merge all these units together. That saves me on some upkeep and puts the stronger units together because they can't obviously replenish up there. Um, right, we do have our major settlement back. Uh, public order is becoming an issue, but not a big one currently. So, how do we want to do this? We'll get the altar of Ares there. Oh, what are we going to do down here? Why are you in public order? Happiness, taxes, and slaves. We're going to have to turn this into a theatre, I think. That's the only way I'm going to sort that one out. Um, yeah, that's all I can do. So, pass okay. it on. Well, I'm nope, just... I, I, Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, I, I was just saying guess. I was just plan planning on who I was going to invade next, but uh, no, you do what you need to do. I'm just having I'm a just look. I'm just up a general. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, the Salmonites have arrived on the... But not to attack me, they're just doing something. I don't know. I can see it. <laughs> so this guy wants a non-aggression pact and asked me to pay 100 gold to him. Uh, if I don't do that, it's still quite likely for... A high likelihood of success. So if I charge him a thousand, it's moderate, <laughs> and he's agreed to it. So I've just got a thousand gold. <laughs> okay, cheers. Lucky you. Thanks uh, for that. Yeah, Taurus or whatever the name is. Oh, I've seen the secessionists have storming a march and are trying to uh, get to Antium. That is not going to happen. Or oh, I hope it's not. The Volsky are besieging me. Okay. Oh. oh. But they haven't assaulted. Oh, here they Something go, they're times. assaulting now, and uh, they're just going to die. It's a Yeah, that sounds like a plan. Yeah, 94% chance of success. Success for me, so... Um, success. Success. <laughs> going to shesh the success. Uh, 300, uh, there's no survivors, so I'll just I'll release what survivors I had, because the army died. <laughs> 
but I've got four thousand gold. Yes. Nice. I definitely don't have four. Th I have three thousand gold, and I've got a triumph. Nice. Nice. Yeah, I've got three thousand gold and nine hundred a turn now, so that's excellent. So we'll put, um, I don't know. We'll put some defenses in there. You can have defenses now. A catalyst. You can have that one, and you can have uh, armor. Oh. Armor for all units. Oh, you didn't get that. Armor for all units, please. Oh, yeah, you did. Well done. Right. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this army. I could move it to Antium. Can he reach? I imagine he could reach Ostia. Antium has a garrison and it's full. Ostia has a garrison, nine, and it's full. How beat up is this army? Oh, this is pretty useless. I kind of want to move it back. I might move it to Antium temporarily, move in, see whether they're going to even dare attack me. Um, and I can reach this to six. Oh, I might re ambush this army quickly. And Vei. Yeah, we'll ambush, kill these guys off 65%, chance of success. This could be the end of the Volsky. Um, let's just release their prisoners. Because I get more money. Uh, and we'll move money, money, money. on to Rome. I'll garrison Rome. Garrison. Defend the holy city. Yeah, defend the holy no, not city. Holy city. Uh, the eternal city. There the, we go. The eternal city, indeed, yes. Um... Uh, oh, I was going to bribe bribe people not to rebel against me. Uh, I'm going to bribe House <laughs> Amelia. <laughs> there we go. And I can bribe the other one. So we'll do that. We'll secure their loyalty. They uh, hate me slightly less, so it doesn't leave me with much money to do much. It leaves me with about 200 quid. But it's, uh, you know, we need the money to uh, basically not get invade a uh, civil war. So, And I'll recruit some Javis, why not? So that'll do. That'll do. How many turns till they replenish? Four, three. Uh, okay, that's not too bad. My main army, I don't think it's got long till it's basically replenished. Two turns, two turns, three turns. Well, they're mercenaries. We can could replace them, in fact. We could indeed replace them. They cost very little, but they can't afford them this turn. Um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to hand it straight back over to you. Mine was a very quick turn. I've not got a lot to do at the moment. So I'm going to just hand it straight back to you. Awesome. And see if the Vols can do Ooh. anything. Oh, what have you got? Our ships are afloat and I meant to go to Bold. What destiny awaits us. So that um when I did the um the expedition, it's actually finally come up with something. All those turns so, ago. Let's see what they do. Hopefully something decent, because that was a lot of money. Um Right, let's look at research first. We need to look at military, I think. Uh, I don't need have units. Oh, I'm getting taxed. The responsible Roman citizen. So I get five percent extra. Time. Units. Perfect. Um, hmm. And Rome's expanded for next turn. Ah, oh, yes. 175 income per turn from item subjects acquired through warfare. Huh. Um, logistics sounds good. Uh, supply lines, yeah, that's decent. Uh, I want something to help for my spearmen, but I don't. I don't think there is anything I can get immediately, so I might as well go for logistics. I think. I could get the Circus Maximus. That's very handy. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going to do then. Oh. oh. Oh, no, we'll leave those. Right, let's go march in this rebel army and wipe them out. You shall not wipe them out. I shall stand and I will hold. Unless it's a really no, easy auto resolve. You. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sieging them out. Oh, okay. I don't need to fight them. They've only got three turns with a very tiny army. Oh. Yeah. I so, think yeah, I'm I'll the same with mine, to be honest. Well, well, like I said, I'm in, though, under an immediate threat, so I might as well just siege him out and just not waste men. Yeah, my veteran allows me to cut down three turns worth of a siege. Jeez. And it's double for city ports. Oh, God. No wonder Antium took no time to surrender. Oh. Right, let's look at oh, what we can do with... Right, so this is obviously primarily a... Oh, I forgot what... Ah. No, I need to look at... um. What does um marble give you again? Is it industry? Uh, I think so. Oh, does it give you cheaper buildings? Cheaper buildings to build. Cheap buildings and industry. It must be. Oh. I would anyway, have thought so, so. I would have thought so. I don't know about industry, but I would have thought it would have given you cheaper buildings. Oh, this is a farming settlement anyway. No, I'm just organising what my settlements are going to we're going to specialise in. So we're going to get a farming settlement up on this one. Um, right, so the public order shot up again. So I don't actually need to worry about building that 
temple anymore. So we're not going to build that temple anymore. Um, what we are going to do is build big buildings. So a polis. I like that from you, Scrim. What are we going to build? Big buildings. Yes. Big buildings. Big buildings. <laughs> I like the buildings. They are. Oh, you know what? Here's a story for you. So the school I went to, um, we had Prince Andrew, the one that's in the news for being a paedophile. Yeah. And um, he, ca he, ca he came in during all the construction work we're doing. So we built the sports centre in Gordonston. Mm -hmm. And um, the Queen came and opened it and stuff. So he, I'm, I'm always nervous around schools anyway. Because my hair and some military and all that. Yeah. Um, even though this was literally another day in the office, we were actually quite fed up when they come because it completely disrupts the day for us. But um, anyway, um, yeah, and he's like, oh, what do you like about school? He's like, I like the big buildings. Because <laughs> I, I couldn't get out of the words like, oh, the new facilities and the sports centre. I went, I like the new buildings. <laughs> and literally 60 guys in the boarding house turned to me and went, you are a fucking idiot. <laughs> and even Prince Andrew looked at me and went, what the fuck's wrong with you? I was like, I say, I swear. I say a lot about him now, though, as well. What's the fuck wrong with him? If you don't, yeah. know, if you don't know what's uh, what's uh, gone wrong with uh, Prince Andrew um, or what's happened with Prince Andrew, look it up because uh, I don't think we should really describe it. What's happened, Scrim? He's a paedophile. No, no, we've, we weren't going to say it, but yeah, I mean, were we? Oh. You, you, you look it up, uh, ladies and gents, and you can see what what he's done. Or yeah, not, or not it's... done, which he, he would also. I don't know. He, did, he didn't defend himself very well. Uh, was it? Is he, is he proven guilty? Um, his... Well, he didn't really defend himself very well. It's an it's assumption that he probably did. It also I suddenly feel very... Oh, go on. Yeah, I was just going to say, the Queen kind of said, well, he's he's taking a step back from royal duties. So <laughs> that's not that's a good sign. <laughs> <laughs> but um, uh, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It feels very strange. I'm talking about how he was in school. Yeah. Kind of viewing the boarding house, saying hello to everybody. And then that comes out. I'm suddenly feeling like, oh, wait a minute. Yeah. Okay, the Volsky yeah. attacked me, and they've... Oh, they've raised a lot of men. Ah! Uh, <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I mean, oh, no. Oh, Shut dear. Up, scream. Are they light infantry or heavy infantry? Um, a mix of both. Really. I can win this. I can't do it with rabble, but I can do it with some at least spearmen. Okay, well, we're going to fight this. Um, <laughs> It says oh, I don't have a chance. Thing. It says I don't really have a chance, but I think I've got um... better infantry than you. You, 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 I think you do automatically, but I've got some range. No, you do as well. If oh, my some... general's buggered, isn't he? Yeah. Um, this is interesting. And I have You've a fleet. Got... You do, a very weak fleet, though. Yeah. It, it'll be um, interesting. This is interesting. All right, let's see what happens. Yeah, it'll be good. Okay, so we've had a crash, and we've had to reload in the game. Um, and instead, Rome, uh, not Rome, the Volsky has decided to attack Rome. So I'm just going to auto resolve this, which is obviously a lot prefer, uh, very much more preferable to them attacking Ostia. So I'm going to just attack, and I may lose some of this army. Oh no, we keep everything, and the garrison. Yeah, I'm going to just in release the captives because um, it gets me a lot of money. It gets me a thousand coins. Just want to let everybody know I would have won that. Apparently, Scrim would have won that, he says, but yeah. I don't believe him for one second. Okay, uh, there's a high chance of succession. <laughs> high chance of uh, war. A civil oh, war. I'm so fucking you up if you get a rebel force, I'm going to take everything. Uh, well, I hope you really don't, because <laughs> I could be in a sick position. I got very excited there. It's okay. Um, I'm just going to... I don't know. I might change my general and put in... Uh, so I have two loyal armies, two <clears throat> loyal leaders. Because I, my son's yeah, that's what I did. My my son's just come of age, so you know, perfect age to uh, take over this army, the second legion. Because yeah, that's never been an issue in the historical past before. Yeah, son. Um, well, I mean, I'm gonna give the general just quickly give him like that, but I'm gonna replace you with. <laughs> um, where is he? House of Fury is my house, so there we go. You fought higher. very hard and loyally to my family. Yes. Now it's time for you to go away. <laughs> Basically, there we go. He's done. Um, I mean, I'm gonna have to put it. I'll put him into Ostia. There we go. Right. So we have now. Let's see. For characters. We have another Camillus in charge. Perfect. Right. We're gonna give him armor for all units, and I'm gonna make him find a wife. There he goes. Found a wife. Yay! <laughs> uh, some politician. Well, some politician. Oh, you've got ballista. Sorry. Me. No, no, this rebel oh, army I'm sieging him. Oh, ah, yes, that, that army that you're talking about, which I know about, yes, it does have <laughs> Ballista. 
Oh, yeah, actually, you used it, didn't you? I used it to kill you. <laughs> Indeed, you took Contain from me. Yes, and the Rebel Army that I could be fighting has Blister as well. I might just attack the Roman Secessionists uh, because they are very weak. So here we go. We're going to murder them. A nice auto resolve here. I know, I'm all resolving everything, but I don't really want to lose extra men at this point, especially when I'm going to have a civil war at any minute. Um, I'm going to release the captives. I get a lot of money again for it. Um, and then I'm going to force march on the final settlement of the Roman secessionists. And I might take it next turn, but I might also not. <laughs> Rome um, has a perfectly good garrison. I'm probably going to put in a suburbia, help the economy. Um, and then I'm going to put in a... Why are you so low? Probably because of raiding. Or oh, cultural differences. Well, we can sort that out. Uh, with... Maybe a... Hmm. 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 Uh, maybe a... I don't know. What's my food like? It's okay. I could do an altar of Mars. Altar of Mars, or... I've got 21 food. I'm rolling in it. Very nice. I've got 24, so... I'm also rolling in the food. I'm putting in a temple of Jupiter... Uh, an altar of Jupiter, I should say, instead. I'm going to recruit some soldiers, because we're making some money now. So, hell yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, so, we're going to put in some more swords. Two units of swords. Perfect. Mm. Right. Um, if we have a civil war, I will cry. <laughs> um, uh, I can't secure your loyalty. Like, oh, I think House Amelia is definitely going to revolt. Oh, no. Risk, oh, of, yes. risk is now down to 12. It's down to 12. Oh, I was down to 3% last time or something like that. And guess what happened to me? That is true. Oh, and I've got concerns. What? Construction report. Okay. Have I got something that I've got to address? Well, oh, have I got a commander that needs upgrading? Possibly. Oh, yeah. My Camillus. Camillus, who may revolt himself. I've been told that can happen. Um... But I'm going to just put him on Tactician so he can help me with my, like, Force March. Or, like, my distances. Um, and is there still a problem? No, that's it. That's it. That's fine. Perfect. <gasps> Ooh! Our scouts report iron deposits in local mountains. Should we settle here or keep looking? Iron's good for military, but I haven't got much utilization for that currently. That's a shame, isn't it, Scrim? For 500 gold, I could keep searching. Do it. I'm going to keep searching. Very nice. I'm no longer protected from civil war. It's currently sat at 18%. Oh, higher than me then, Scrim. Well, guess what? Secure loyalty. <laughs> and now we're at zero. Yeah, I'm going to have to secure the loyalty probably next turn. Um, I did take up a chunk of my cash, though, which is irritating. So we're going to get this trench mine built because that's extra industry from... 100 to 150. I forgot how economics work in this game. It's quite frustrating how slow it goes sometimes. Yeah, economy in this game can, is really hard, but if you can get the right buffs, it's just like a good chain. I think oh, the next person you... I'm going to go after is the Sabines, who were the Neo... me. I've made some friends. Neapolis, but they don't like me very much. Do you want trade? No, you don't want trade. Are Do you, you want your fleet? non-aggression pact? Are you moving oh, yeah, I'm moving my fleet. Good, so we can find each other. They found they liked that. Uh, okay, so they like my um, non-aggression pack, but they don't want trade. Oh, actually, no. A perfect place to invade would be actually to my south, which is Neapolis and the Sabines and the Sabines, the Salmonites, because they're in a huge war. And I might get involved in that, make it a three-way war. I'm, I'm actually at a. I've actually just discovered the Neapolis of, of well, my friends. They're about to be burnt to the ground by Rome. I don't want to trade with you anymore. Not they're me. my friends. Yeah, they're my friends. Well, that's fine. I've got the herd. Well, fine, and I'll turn my navy around. <laughs> you could be like that. Fine. Well, I don't think you were ever going to come and trade with me, really. I'm the enemy. Oh, well, then, well, technically, we don't know each other. True, but we are the enemy. <laughs> well, you better come down to me and face my spear wolves. I will. Carthage doing anything? No, they're just going to carry on. Carthage is just being annoying. Just being annoying. That's Carthage, to be honest. No, if I invo in get involved in your southern uh, problems, then it denies you trade and stuff, which could be helped. Returned home. Oh, I don't actually have any problems, I just got Carthage. Oh. 
Just have Carthage, you know, they're a problem. Yeah, just Carthage. Um, well, what's the Civil War problems at? Is it 12 still? That's fine. 12's not that high. His famous last words. <laughs> hmm. It's not that high. Oh, and there we go. Civil War. No, no, not yet. Right, 12. We're going to just move on Castanum. They are raising another army. And another army after that. And they have 10 units. So they'll have about 20... Plus another one. Hmm, this could be tough. How do they got so many armies? <laughs> I may have to retreat. We'll see. Well, if I retreat, they'll probably not attack. I don't know. We'll see. Um, I may have to bring the other army, the Vitrix, down to Antium. Just to help the public order out here. Um, so that's okay. Are you raiding, Volsky? No, you're just sitting there. Okay, well, you do your thing. Um, and then I just have a thousand coin that I can't really spend on anything, and I don't really want to spend on anything. Could I recruit mercenaries? I could. I could recruit more mercenary Latin warriors, or whatever they're called. Yeah, they are Latin warriors. Um, merge these guys, but I'm okay. Um, I think I'm just going to end the turns and hand over. Actually, no, diplomacy. Let's see if we can actually trade with anyone. I bet you we can't. Umbri, do you want trade? No, you, you, there's no way you want trade. You, apparently, we can't have trade. Tarkuna, <laughs> trade. No, no, you hate. You don't like us enough. Um, are you going down? No, we're just neutral. That's fine. Samonites, you're in a big war. Um, I could go to war with Neapolis. I bet that'll shoot up and they'll give me trade for that. They'd love me if I went to war with the Samonites. I probably will go to war with the Samonites. <laughs> um, I don't know. We'll see. It's gonna take a. A lot of a lot of effort. Um, these guys, the pe Peliglia. Oh no, I don't want defensive alliance. Could I get non-aggression? No. These Aqua. No, I bet no one likes me enough. You, no, you're working quite hard on diplomacy. There I'm as really well. trying to find someone that will just. <laughs> and here I am with literally non-aggression backs and all but one with trade agreements as well. Ugh. I am the beacon of diplomacy. I've become the UN of ancient times. <laughs> well, you, the UN's going to have to uh, kill some people if he wants to get to Rome. Oh, why do I have to keep doing this? So this is the second time in three turns I've had to help Corinth, Sparta, or Athens, and I lose minus 10 research rate, 20 from mining or campaign movement. Okay, let's take a hit on research. It's really frustrating. Still, still not changed turns per second anyway, so turns per research. You know what I mean. I do. Uh, Neapolis, Neapolis. Oh, I actually found the Neapolis. Isn't that the uh, farming settlement in uh, the main campaign? Is yeah, yeah. Which is it's a big city in this. Is it? Is it a big city in this? It is a very big city. It's... Right. Let's see if you want to trade yet. Bavar Why do you oh, reject me? Oh, trade is not a bad idea. Why do you think it's a... you don't like me because the treaties with Croton here at war with? And they're upset because I've made a different. Uh, okay, whatever. I need to get a spy or something. I just realised a spy would be kind of handy. I can't afford one, but I'd like a spy. <laughs> when oh, you're, when you're in Rome and you're like, ah, oh, I can't actually afford a spy. Fuck. <laughs> um. Okay, so I'm building more buildings. Cause I like buildings. Um. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I've done all I can. I could get some more. Um. Oh, yeah, I could get some more agriculture going, get some more money. Um, what can I build here? What else could I build? I might change my edict, I've just realised, to piety loyalty. Is that going to do it this turn? Ah, so yeah, next turn I'm going to have piety loyalty. So that's 10%, or oh, 10 plus loyalty to the political party ruling this province, which is, which is, which one is it? The uh, uh, House of Amelia, which hates me the yeah. most. Nice. So... That would be my, down to minus six. Bring in the uh, the likelihood of war. Even less. Big brain. I mean, I've, I've got plenty of food. I don't really know. Oh, crap. What? Syracuse secessionist. Ah, what are they doing, Scrim? Being killed. Oh. Are they just charged? Did they just charge you or something? Well, it was the la last turn before they died of attrition. They literally had nothing. Oh, okay. So the garrison they're... was red. Oh, uh, occupy that. Thank you very much. I'll and the Roman secessionists didn't do anything, so I may... They just recruit... Oh, they're recruiting guys. God damn it. <laughs> um, are we might... My... Oh, okay. Oh, wow. What's, oh, okay. What's happened? The Hernisi have decided to attack these 
the Roman Why Secession. Why am I involved with this? Oh, because it's your army too. I might decline the attack, let them die, and then go in and take the... Take the fall. Damn it, they took it! <laughs> Damn it, they took it. Um, so we might have to go to war with the Hernisi and uh, kill them off. I might actually do that so, now. What what just happened there? I don't understand. I don't know why you were involved, but so basically the Hernisi attacked. Ooh, I might do you want a defensive alliance? Who? The Hernisi? Or Regan. Me? Oh, Regan. Yeah, let's have a defensive alliance. Yeah, let's do that. Well, I'm gonna. You're... Yeah, I'm gonna betray my long-term ally. <laughs> you know what's really funny? I never do alliances really. I just can't really do the full. Well, I'm non-aggression. I'm non-aggression but... and trade with them, so that's not that bad. So I'm gonna, <laughs> so I'm gonna I've got just... a defensive alliance with my neighbours. This is great. I've got a defensive alliance and a military alliance. So just... Try and invade me now, Pope. I've killed my their large army off and taken their city. <laughs> You just oh you, you <laughs> condemned monster. my diplomat diplomacy, but I don't care. Oh, I've you condemned... monster. Yeah, but I'm willing to take that risk, Scrim. Something you've got to do. But um, let's see, what else could I do? I need to oh, I need to get United Latium so I can get um more money from something or other. Um, well, something or other. I know what I need to get. It gets me more money from holding uh Rome, the city of Rome. So that's always handy. So we may need to do that. Um, I'm gonna first do classes of Rome for Roman first because that helps with. Uh, what did it help with actually? <laughs> um, our oh, culture conversion. This is always handy. Helps convert the culture, and you know I'm all about that culture. All yeah. about that culture. Um, I. So you're backstabbing everybody. I don't know what your culture is gonna be like. Uh, it's gonna be a culture of uh, everyone hates Rome. <laughs> <laughs> I might, I might just find you and just declare war on you because I can. Because everyone hates me. <laughs> <laughs> Should have been Syracuse. Syracuse has made friends. We've got a defensive alliance. We've got a military alliance. We're sharing this island, which I really want. To I have, no, I have native Volsky warriors now, which are actually better than uh, my current swords in the like melee attack mm -hmm. and what? Oh no, they're slightly worse in weapon damage, but they have and they have better armor. Wow, these guys are really good. They cost a little bit more, but they're really good. They actually cost a lot more. I kind of don't really want to get them. Um, <clears throat> and the spears are better. Why is the Volsky stuff so much better than the Roman stuff? It makes no sense. Scrim. That's why they keep beating you. It did. It was why they kept beating me. Um, I'm going to get some Javis just to OCD so I have two of each. Um, Javis have been often very powerful. If you use them properly, they're very powerful. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm going to get some... More, hmm. Uh, I'll get some more Roman swords in. I know I said that the Volsky guys were better, but. Oh, do I get two Volsky units? Hmm. Decisions, decisions. I'm gonna get two Volsky units. Hell yeah, let's get some. Oh, that's three. <laughs> Don't want that many. I'm not made of money. Uh, money, money, money. And Rome's taking a hit. Why? On manpower. Squalor. Okay, just. You just hate me because of the squalor. Well, we'll sort it out. And taxes and cultural differences. Well, taxes ain't going down. We need the taxes. Um, taxes are needed. Um, Vi, well, we'll sort you out in happiness soon. Um, Freglia, we're going to just give you a water tank. Yeah, there we go. Well, not Freglia. Um, Antium. Give that a water tank. And that is probably where we're going to have to wrap up the episode, guys. We've hit the half hour mark. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. And... Uh, I do apologise for just basically being a terrible ally to uh, to the Hernisi, but it needs yeah, to happen. Yeah, I might I not need, trade with you anymore. I need to uh, I need to uh, take Latium. It's they're part of Latium, and I need that I need that entire province. But um, and it, so they were gonna have to die at some point. So why not now? But if you guys have enjoyed, if you guys have enjoyed, please Jesus. leave a like and subscribe. And until next time.